everybody, it's Eden, and you know that this girl loves some coffee. And as a former Starbucks barista, I have the lowdown on so many recipes. But it's kind of hard to get one of the fan favorites, Frappuccinos Made Vegan. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. I have three Frappuccino recipes for you. We have a caramel Frappuccino, we have a mocha Frappuccino, and a caffeine-free dirty chai Frappuccino. So if you'd like to see the recipes, let's just get started. The first thing we're going to do is make our nut milk. Homemade nut milk is so much better. I got my nuts from iHerb. I am partnering with them on this video. And making nut milk is so much easier than you would expect. Let me show you what to do. The first thing you're gonna do is soak your nuts overnight in some water. So after a day, you're gonna see a little bit of soot kind of in the bottom, and you're just gonna rinse these before we put them into our blender. Now the nut to water ratio will be on the screen, and after this point, you can really do whatever you would like. You can add some vanilla to it, you can add a little bit of stevia, you can add some maple, you can do whatever you like with your nut milk. I like to keep mine simple, just water and nuts. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a high speed blender. Um, for about a minute, I let it blend up. So now I have our almond milk. We're gonna go ahead and strain this guy by just taking a nut milk bag and a bowl. Just put this in here and we're gonna milk our almonds. So let's open this up. Oh, that smells so good. So I'm just gonna pour this in here. I like to use kind of a flat bowl so that I don't get it everywhere. Then I'm just gonna roll up my bag pull the string tight as you can and then squeeze and you get all this beautiful almond milk coming out easy from home easy to make in a pinch if you don't have the full time to soak the almonds you can boil them for just a little bit to soften them up and it prevents the extra carton waste. Just think of how many almond milk cartons you go through in a year. You can easily make this at home and then save this pulp from the almonds and you can make almond milk breakfast muffins. We're gonna start off with our mocha frappuccino. So what we have here is our house made almond milk that we just made here. I'm gonna use some instant coffee. This is from iHerb. They have over 5,000 grocery products. And what I love about using a crystallized product or an instant product is it doesn't water down your finished product. You know, most of the time when you get a frappuccino or a frappe, you have this icy stuff at the bottom that's kind of like, mm, I don't want to drink this. This is going to make sure that we have a creamy, delicious frappuccino from start to finish. So I'm going to be using this. Now I'm going to use some organic cacao powder. This is from iHerb as well. They ship to over 160 countries and they have customer service in 10 language. So they really want to make sure that everyone that shops with them has a fabulous experience. I've always had great experiences with them. I can get all this stuff delivered to my door and have frappuccinos in a pinch. So I'm actually going to go ahead and add a full teaspoon of cacao powder. To sweeten it, I'm going to use some of these better stevia drops. Be careful with these. They can be very, very potent. So just use a few to start with. You can always add more, but you can't take it away. And now for our creamy factor, I know you're probably like, how is this gonna become a frappuccino? I'm gonna add a frozen banana. I'm just gonna break this guy and put it into there. And then just a little bit of ice. A handful of ice cubes and let's give this a blend. We added some Nutiva organic hazelnut spread to the top. And how fantastic does this look? Add a straw and enjoy. Let's give it a taste, make sure all my measurements are right. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. Ugh, you can't even taste the banana. 
but just adds this amazing creaminess to it. It has a really strong coffee flavor, a really amazing chocolate flavor. Mm. Let's start our caramel frappuccino. I'm gonna take a date, which I've talked about forever, how I think dates taste like caramel, and I use them to make a yummy vegan Snickers bar too. So if you want the recipe for that, let me know. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit of this date caramel that I made. It just has coconut milk, some um, coconut nectar, dates, and some vanilla, and a little bit of espresso powder. So it's really delicious. And I'm just gonna add some of that to my blender. Ooh. Then I'm gonna add just a little bit of English toffee stevia drops. I just feel like these taste a little bit more like caramel than the actual caramel flavor one. Then I'm gonna add our frozen banana and ice. Here's our delicious caramel or caramel frappuccino, depending where you're from. I put some caramel on the jar. I put some on top. It floated to the bottom so you'll get a nice sweet treat. Just add a straw. It's ready to drink. The caramel flavor is so good. Make this date caramel. It's so good. If you love dates, you'll love it. And it's no cook. I have no time for a candy thermometer. None. None at all. But if you use this, it's super easy to make in a blender. I'll link the recipe down below. It's not mine, so I didn't want to make it in the video. But um, most of the items in the caramel sauce are available on iHerb as well. And this is just super delicious, so sweet, so caramely, has that kind of like burnt flavor, you know, how you caramelized, not burnt. <laughs> just make sure your bananas are super ripe if you don't want that banana flavor. This is the way to start off the morning. A secret menu item that I used to get requests for all the time was the dirty chai frappuccino. I don't think it's ever been on the Starbucks menu, but somehow people know about it. This one is gonna be a caffeine-free version. I'm gonna be using Tea Chino, which is an herbal coffee. I've drank it in the past. I used to get the vanilla nut flavor. I love that iHerb has the largest selection of Tea Chino that I've found. Anytime I'm in store, I can usually only find one or two flavors, but they have a good variety. So what I did here was I double brewed some Tea Chino, which means I just did two tea bags in a very small amount of water because we want that strong coffee flavor but without um, a lot of liquid because we don't want a watery frappuccino. So I'm gonna add that to my blender. Look how dark and amazing that looks, just like coffee. And then I did the same exact thing for our chai tea. This is the Numi chai tea. It's a rooibos chai, which means that it's gonna be caffeine free and herbal, but you still get all of those amazing spices. I wanna get every little bit out of there, so I'm just doing a good ring. And then we're gonna pop this into our blender. And then I'm just gonna top it with the tiniest bit of almond milk. added a little bit more of this in, in any of our previous frappuccinos. Now I'm going to add our banana and our ice. Last but definitely not least, the smell of the spices from the chai coming out of this cup is insane. This one is a little bit looser than our previous ones because I'm impatient and I didn't let my tea and my tea chino um, my tea and my tea chino cool all of the way. But if you let it cool all the way or pop it in the fridge or the freezer so that it's fully chilled, it'll be just as creamy as the others. That might, whoa. <laughs> that was not exaggerated. Explosion <laughs> of flavor. The amazing spices coming out of here I just love chai and the taste of the tea chino, which even though it's caffeine free, gives it that coffee flavor really intensifies the chai, which is I think why most people get a shot added into their chais to intensify the flavor. Mm. This one is amazing. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video of three easy frappuccino vegan remakes. I'll leave all of the links to everything that I used for this video down below and the link to iHerb 
I know this video isn't about favorites, but if you make that date caramel, you will want to eat it by the spoonful. Um, I think almost everything's available on iHerb. This Nutiva, it's called the Organic Hazelnut Spread. It's like vegan Nutella. It's so, 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 so good. This is the classic. I love the dates because they're already pitted. I probably wouldn't be as enthusiastic about making caramel if I had to take the pits out of every single one of the dates, but these dates are already pitted, which is amazing. And having the dark roast instant coffee is really amazing for frozen drinks so that you don't water them down. It's really like the key to getting a thick, creamy drink. So I wanna thank iHerb again for sponsoring this video and I hope you guys enjoy these recipes and make them and send me pictures of them on social media. I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching and until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart, practice unconditional compassion, but don't take shit from anyone. I love you guys endlessly and I hope you love yourselves even more. I'll talk to you really, really soon. Bye.